Hello, everyone, and welcome to Reborn for Greatness Ministries. Ruach HaKodesh has given me a great word to speak on. And um, before I even tell you what the topic is, let's bow our heads for prayer. I plead the blood of Holy Yahushua over every mind, body, and spirit. Father, help us to cast down every imagination and thought that our enemy tries to use to exalt itself against you. You dealt our spiritual enemy a faithful blow on Calvary when you died on the cross for us and were resurrected on the third day. While every evil planned against us, we use the armor of Yah you have given us to stand firm. You will bring justice in due time for all the harm and needless violence aimed at your children. Until then, we remain in your presence, aligned with your purposes, and we look to you as our supreme commander and protector. Help us, Yah, to avoid temptation, deliver us from evil. In Yah Yushua Hamashiach's precious name, we pray, amen. So, yes, Ruach HaKadosh has given me a great word, and it is spiritual distractions. And it just amazes me um, how I'm given something to speak on and I'm going, I will be going through that very thing. And I know if I'm going through it, then many others are going through it as well. So I'm just excited to um, just talk about it a little bit. And uh, before I do it, um, I have to give you the definition of spiritual and distraction. So spiritual first, meaning relating to or affecting the human spirit or soul as opposed to material or physical things. Distraction, meaning a thing that prevents someone from giving full attention to something else. I also have two um, Bible verses for you, scriptures. And the first one is 1 Corinthians 7.35. And it says, And this I speak for your own profit, not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comely, and that ye may attend upon the Lord without distractions. And... The second verse is going to be, well, scripture is going to be Romans 12, 11. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. And I just um, want to say Satan is behind the spirit of spiritual distractions in many ways. Uh, one mainly is he's a flesh master. You know, the devil and his minions, they worm their way into our, our Christian spiritual life through their senses. And what they do is, is uh, similar to texting while driving, forcing you to encounter dangerous situations. Um, the devil is just so wicked and he has so many devices here that keeps um ourselves and our children spiritually distracted from uh, the things that we need to do for the kingdom of Yah things that we need to do to stay in line with father praying and reading our bibles and praising and worshiping the Lord, you know, the things we eat. And it's just so many ways that Satan keeps us spiritually distracted. Also, um, focusing on ourselves and our emotions and desires is a spiritual distraction. Um, if we have focused on ourselves that creates a distraction from our faith. Um, and when this happens, 
you know, you just run into all kinds of trouble and trouble that you really don't need. Um, um, Father wants us to take care of ourselves, of course, but not be so focused on ourselves and how we look and what we're going to wear and how we're going to, you know, wear our hair and all that type of stuff that's just unnecessary things that, you know, we shouldn't even care about, you know, putting that before Father, before Father's needs. Um, And we've been created for more than that, way more than that. We've been created to love each other and to take care of each other and to love him above all things and people. Um, Social media, ooh, that is uh, another huge distraction. We have so many things, you know, that keeps us distracted. Shopping online, you know, being in others people other people's business, you know, celebrities as far as gossiping and sending pics and playing games and the TV and you know, watching TV on your phone, just this those are Satan devices. And that is a big spiritual distraction and he knows this. He's very aware of the times that we are living in and how much time he has to destroy or tries to destroy us. But Father Yahuwah will prevail and his harvest will prevail. And we must stay rooted. We must, must stay rooted in Father. You know, um, you have to be able to break from these things it becomes a problem when you cannot break from these things that is a spiritual distraction we must prioritize what's important you know instead read a book um read the bible to your children listen to praise music you know um, sometimes when I get distracted, I, I will sing a song in my head, you know, when things pop up that I know are not from Father. I know who it is and who it's coming from. I try to throw a song in my head and sing, you know, praising the Lord in my head or just say a little prayer sometime. And But if we spend more time reading the Bible and spend time with, you know, with um, with the Lord, then we won't have time to be distracted. Instead of watching a movie, instead of watching a movie, read the Bible. Instead of, you know, kicking it with your girlfriend, having a glass of of wine, why don't y'all get together and discuss, you know, Father, Discuss some other things that re- that's related to the kingdom and not how you're going to wear your hair Friday when y'all get ready to go out. Those things are not important. And those things keep us so far from Father. Major distractions. Um, love. Lust. And I can say this, you know, I can vouch for this. Everybody wants in their life. Has had this love and lust is is a major you know spiritual distractions. Well, I don't have that problem anymore. Thank you, Lord. The the only person, the only man in my life <laughs> is Father Yahuwah. I'm I'm so glad that I can say that because only He knows how I was <laughs> some time ago. So I'm uh, I'm so glad I'm not distracted by a man. Um, but yes. Uh, being distracted by a man or a woman. Uh, Satan knows how bad we want love. He knows this. And so the devil will put someone in your life and tear down your faith, your beliefs, and then you'll start to love that man or that woman more than you will Father Yahuwah. 
And that is not his will for our lives. And this causes sadness and heartache and a loss of faith. And like I said, putting us miles away from Father Yahuwah, a major spiritual, you know, distraction. And, um, and he don't, he doesn't want that. He really don't. He doesn't. I'm going to say this. We can overcome these spiritual distractions by committing to a routine of prayers for weeks or months, quieting ourselves to hear Yahuwah, both internally and externally, and finding peaceful and quiet place to pray and worship, prioritizing prayer. Do not let a day go by without spending time with Father Yahuwah. Not a day. Do not let a, 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 a minute or two go by without your mind being focused on Father Yahuwah. You should not. This is very, very, very dangerous. And I know we human, and sometimes, you know, we do get distracted. And that's why I'm just giving you uh, some tools where you don't have to get distracted in other ways that you can prevent spiritual distractions. Okay? And another um, spiritual distraction can be, well... You can spiritually distract your blessings. Well, spiritual distractions can cause you to miss your blessings. Excuse me. Yeah, they can cause you to miss your blessings. Uh, You can start off strong and mighty on something. Your mind is made up that you're going to wait for Father to do it for you. He's going to change you. He's going to change something in your life. But then you realize... uh, Time is moving on, and it seems like nothing is happening. And then you start at maybe this, and, you know, just the doubt sets in. It it creeps in, you know. And um, you let that distraction take root. And then, you know, it just, it took your eyes off a father. And the more you look at it now, it's bigger than Yahuwah caused you a that that's a spiritual distraction you know it that spiritual distraction caused you just those thoughts caused you to miss out on the things father had for you or has for you and then you'll be asking yourself like uh, why you know why didn't father help me but he was helping you but you became spiritual distracted before it was manifested, you know, no matter what we see, feel, or hear, we should keep our faith in Yahushua HaMashiach, you know, while it is inevitable that we will become spiritually distracted in life, it is most important that we remember to stay focused on Yahuwah and the things that he has planned for our lives, so, you know, Social media and love and lust and even negative thoughts. You know, Satan and his minions try with their little um, gimmicks. Then you will be able to stand if you're praying, if you stand focused, if you if you're praying and you're reading the word and you're praising and singing to Father Yahuwah, to your Lord, then it's very, it's going to be slender to become distracted because you're keeping Father on your mind all day. You praise Him. You know, you even praise your trials and tribulations because it's so easy to get thrown off. The smallest thing could throw you off. That, that could be a spiritual distraction. So, um, I think I'm about running out of time. Um, so I'm going to end this video with, um, a prayer. Heavenly Father, you have promised that we will dwell in the secret place of the most high and shelter under the shadows of your wings. You will guard and guide us and protect us and keep us. 
You are before us and behind us. You are above us and below us. You are within us and dwelling in our hearts by the power of Ruach HaKadosh, who is our ever-present help in time of trouble. Father, we pray that you will protect us and our families from all the evils that are lurking nearby and those that seek to harm us. You are indeed our refuge and strength. Thank you in Yahushua Hamashiach's name. Amen. And until the next video, um, I just want to leave you with Psalms 8611. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. I unite my heart to fear your name. Blessings.